Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find the value of line integral of a vector field. Okay, so they have given integral in this way. So we will try to express it in its standard form. So this is equal to integration over C. The same thing can be written as 1 plus y square by x cube i minus 1 plus y square by x cube into y j. See, there is y. So that's why I wrote y here dot dot product with dx i plus dy j. So I have expressed the same integral uh, as a form of dot product of two vectors getting. So you can easily see you know well how to take a dot product multiple of i into multiple of i. That means this bracket into dx we will have the first term. This bracket into dy we will have the second term. Okay, so I have expressed it in this way. First bracket we will call it as a bar and second is nothing but dr bar. So this is equal to integration over c a bar dot dr bar. So this is a given integral. So that's why you can easily see the first bracket is nothing but our f bar. Here let me mention f bar is equal to 1 plus y square by x cube. Okay, comma. Okay, I'm expressing in this way. Let us take product with uh, y, huh, this bracket. So that means we will have minus y minus y cube by x cube. So this is our f bar. So let us consider given curve now. So what we have, they have clearly mentioned C is a straight line. So we have a straight line from where to where line path joining 1 comma 0. In diagram I have already shown 1 comma 0 to 2 comma 0. Okay and after that 2 comma 0 to 2 comma 1 from 2 comma 0 to 2 comma 1. So, so this is a path C we have. So you can easily see actually C is uh, made up of two lines straight lines. So first of all I will call it as C1 and C second is nothing but C2. So let, let me show it here. Uh, so we have some space let us use. So therefore, therefore here integration of f bar over C can be calculated in this way integration of f bar over C1 plus integration of f bar over C2. That means we will find the value of line integral separately uh, along C1 and along C2 and at the end we will take addition of these two values so we'll have the required answer so let us focus on c1 now see along c1 along c1 see let us find a parameterization of c1 let me write parameterization parameterization of c1 okay let me write parameterization of c1 is See C1 is a straight line which joins these two points. So you know that how to find parameterization of a straight line which joins given two points. Okay, so it's parameterization standard alpha. I will I'm calling it as alpha defines on close interval 0, 1 to R2 defined as it is defined as okay. So alpha of t is equal to 1 minus t into starting point which is 1, 0 plus t into ending point which is 2 comma 0. So let us simplify it. 1 minus t into 1 we will have 1 minus t, 1 minus t into 0, 0, 2 into t, 2 t, t into 0, 0. So let us add 1 minus t plus 2 t that means 1 plus t, 0 plus 0, 0. So this is alpha of t. After that we will find alpha dash of t and then we will go for f of alpha of t. Make a screenshot of it first then we will go further. So let us find alpha dash of t. Okay. See now alpha dash of t, it's a derivative. You know well how to find derivative. Derivative of each component, derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of t is 1, and derivative of 0 is 0, obviously. Now f of alpha of t. Okay. So this is equal to f of let me write the definition of alpha of t, which is 1 plus t, comma 0. So now we have to follow the definition of f. I have purposely kept the definition of f here. So at a place of x, we have to put 1 plus t and at a place of y, we have to put 0. If I put y is equal to 0, so we'll have, see here, 1 plus 0 upon x cube. That means 1 plus t bracket cube we have got. Next, here, if I put y is equal to 0, obviously we will have 0. So that's why the second component is 0. So this is f of alpha of t. It is not required. Let me remove now. So we will have some more space to solve this problem. Okay. See everything is ready now. Now we have to find the value of line integral of f along c1. Then integration of f along c1. Okay. See here 
integration we have to write the limits of integration now so you know that c1 has parameterization alpha which is defined on close interval 0 comma 1 so that's why limits are 0 to 1 okay so definition says we have to take inner product of f of alpha of t right comma alpha dash of t right dt so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 inner product of f of alpha of t just now we have calculated its value is 1 upon 1 plus t bracket cube comma 0 right comma alpha dash of t it is 1 comma 0 inner product dt let us solve it here okay so just a minute yes so you know well how to take inner product okay so the first component into first component plus second component into second component one into this bracket we will have the same bracket one upon one plus t bracket cube plus zero into zero zero so no need to write anything so simply i will write dt here so integration zero to one one plus t raised to minus three dt getting so this I, I simply shifted that bracket in numerator so it has power three if you shift it there it will have minus three so you know the formula of integration integration x raised to n is x x raised to n plus one upon n plus one the same formula i'm going to use so we will have one plus t okay i will write here one plus t raised to minus two if you add one here and the same term we have to write in denominator right with limits zero to one so yes, uh, what will we do? First of all, the constants we will take outside. We will try to express it in a simple form. So that minus one by two will come outside, right? So one upon one plus t square we have zero to one. So minus one by two, let us put upper limit. If I put one here, one plus one, two, square of two is four. So we'll have one by four, right? Minus, let us put lower limit. If I put zero, one upon, 1 plus 0 and bracket square that means simply 1 we will have after that we will cross multiply minus 1 by 2 here we will have minus 3 by 4 right if you cross multiply and solve so 1 minus 4 minus 3 by 4 so minus minus plus and 2 into 4 uh, yes 8 3 by 8 so the value of line integral of f along c1 is 3 by 8 now we have to find out the value along c2 Okay, there is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. See, now consider along C2, okay. So, as you can see in this diagram, C2 is a straight line which joins these two points. So, you know well how to find parameterization of a straight line. So, let us use the same formula, parameterization, parameterization of C2, of C2 is, will denote it by beta of t, okay. So, you know well. 1 minus t into starting point which is 2 comma 0 right plus t into end point 2 comma 1 so let us simplify so 2 into this 1 minus t we will have 2 minus 2 t 0 into this one 0 2 into t 2 t and t into 1 t let us add component wise first component plus first component minus 2 t plus 2 t will get cancelled to each other we will have simply 2 0 plus t we will have t this is beta of t so let us find beta dash of t and f of beta of t right so beta dash of t so derivative you can easily find just by taking derivative of each component 0 and this one is 1 to its constant that's why derivative 0 now f of beta of t okay so this thing also we have to find f of what is our beta of t 2 comma t so now we have to follow the definition of f purposely i have written f here so you can easily see and answer my question right so here x at a place of x we have to put 2 at a place of y we have to put t right so what will we have i'm replacing y by t x by 2 so 1 plus t square right divided by 2 cube which is 8 comma this one here i'm putting y is equal to 2 y is equal to t sorry and minus t minus t cube and i'm replacing x by 2 so it is 8 this is f of beta of t let us follow the definition of line integral of vector field now okay so yes let us use this space it is not required let me remove it okay so let us go further so therefore then integration of f along c2 is equal to integration c2 has a parameterization beta right and yes it is defined as i should write in this way uh, beta 
defined on close interval 0 1 2 r 2 defined as this thing this line i should add add okay since you know when we have want parameterization of a straight line or we have a fixed parameterization we define beta on close interval 0 1 always getting and 1 minus 2 into starting point plus 2 into ending point so yes this sentence should be there so here beta is a parameterization which is defined on close interval 0 1 so that's why limits will be 0 to 1 inner product of f of beta of t comma beta dash of t dt so this is equal to integration 0 to 1 inner product of what is f of beta of t this is 1 plus 1 plus what we have t square by 8 comma minus t comma uh, sorry minus t cube by 8 comma beta dash of t which is uh, 0 comma 1 so you know how to take uh, inner product okay how to find a value of inner product first component into first component zero into anything zero so we'll have simply zero let me write zero i'm not writing it plus one into this one so we'll have same minus t minus t cube by 8 dt so minus one byte is a constant so we can take outside the integration so minus one byte i'm taking outside zero to one t plus t cube dt so let us integrate it's very simple actually integration of t is t square by 2 integration of t cube is t raised to 4 by 4 with limit 0 to 1 minus 1 byte let us put the values i am putting 1 so we'll have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 if i put 0 we'll have 0 so yes this is equal to minus 1 by 8 so you can make denominator same so this is 2 by 4 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 that means 3 by 4 if you multiply minus 3 by 32 so this is required also so this is line integral of f along c2 now we have to add them to get a required answer okay so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so then finally what we do we want line integral of f along c which is made up of two curves c1 and c2 we have found out values separately we have got the line integral of f along c1 is 3 byte line integral of f along c2 is minus 3 by 32 actually plus sign is there but it has negative sign so that's why i have written minus sign there okay so let us simplify it now so to make denominator same i will multiply numerator denominator by 4 okay so 12 by 32 minus 3 by 32 so if you subtract we will have 9 by 32 which is required answer okay so yes example is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye